You know, one thing I discovered about the people of Atlanta after almost a decade of being the artistic director of this company is that they believe in quality and they're up for the ride. So they have come to expect the unexpected in terms of the stories that we tell them. But they do expect one thing, and that is quality. A vocal quality, the orchestral quality, the theatrical quality. And I'm sure that with the team that we've assembled, we're going to provide them that. But we're also going to provide them something they've never seen at the Atlanta Opera, a Baroque opera by Handel. Julius Caesar is based on historical events. There are many, many stories based on Julius Caesar. When Handel wrote this piece, he took some liberties with the story of Julius Caesar. The things that were important for Handel is not just historical details. You can dive for months and years in research and reading and watching films about that time period. It's a fascinating time period. The time period of Julius Caesar figuring out a way to move the Roman Republic into a country that focuses on emperors. That story is an important story, but Handel was interested in it because of the universal themes of power and the will to power. And what's really interesting about his story is that it repeats in history with many other leaders. I'm totally obsessed with history and reading about those stories and accuracy of how did it really go. But at some point when we are getting into the rehearsal room, when we're coming to see a performance, we need to let go of history, of all the research, and tell a story that has meaning to us that is universal and timeless. And that's what Handel did because he did not follow all the details. And I completely embraced those choices because what he came up with is something so much more broad than the actual historical event and that's why this story keeps resonating, is because we identify those themes of power, revenge, love, sex, family, mortality in many other stories that we know. Oh,